in the brain, at the simplest level, what changes occur with learning. The human brain, of course, is an incredibly complex structure, with it mainly being made up of literally billions of neurons. What most people don't realize is that everything you do, from moving to talking to thinking, is simply the product of these billions of neurons interacting. While the individual neuron is an incredible structure, for now, all we're going to worry about is the flow of information. In terms of the interneurons in the brain, what happens is there is an input area, which is the dendrites. And information, literally voltage, comes in on these dendrites to the cell body. Then the neuron itself decides whether it's not going to fire. We're going to talk more about that later in the course. And if the neuron fires, an electrical signal travels down the axon and it reaches the synapse here where it releases neurotransmitter, which then binds on the postsynaptic neuron, this thing. And guess where it's binding? It's binding at dendrites. And when it binds, it generates an electrical signal, which in turn goes back to the cell body. If there's enough, enough information, this neuron fires, and this process continues. That's neural communication in a nutshell. What matters for us is what's happening right here when we want to talk about what changes in the brain occur with learning. The simplest way to answer this is that those connections get stronger. And if these connections are stronger, then you've got what we would call a memory. So when we practice, when you try to store new information, you're literally changing the strength of neural connections, the connection between an axon and a dendrite, and if that connection is stronger, you've got a memory, which means you have learned. If you think of what this means in terms of sports skills, literally, there would be billions of these connections throughout your brain all over the place. And what your brain is trying to figure out is which connections are important to strengthen for the skill and which connections don't matter. And by practice, you refine this layer of neurons so that you have got a memory, which is all of these good connections, and you've forgotten about all of the bad connections, and that's your sports skill. So that's a lot of information, but for now, let's keep it simple. In the brain, at the simplest level, what changes occur with learning? You have strengthening of neural synapses, and that forms a memory, and that is what you have learned.